Hey everybody, welcome to Simex. We are doing an emergency department COVID case today, or maybe it's not COVID, we're a respiratory case at least. Um, this is an interesting case because you get to pick the diagnosis. You do have to follow the contact and droplet precautions and go in. Uh, given that this patient's probably got respiratory stuff and we've got droplet precautions, I'm actually gonna put on a papper um, for fun and put on the rest of my PPE here. Let me make sure I clean my hands. Great, okay. And then let me go ahead and put a gown on. Great, got my gown. Put some gloves on here. Good. Close that up. Um, and then here, I do have the option of, of a N95, or goggles rather, N95 and a regular face mask. I'm actually gonna pass on those right now, and I'm gonna go with my papper, or capper actually, technically. All right. So I am all capped up, fully PPE'd, and uh, I think I am ready to go. All right, so here we are inside the patient's room. And uh, before I get started and talk to the patient, I'm gonna go through and kind of explore the room and introduce everybody to the equipment available. Um, we've got our patient here. Um, I can interact with her, I can talk to her, I'm gonna hold off on that. Um, here we've got oxygen tools, I can pick all this up, blood pressure cuff, cardiac monitor. Here's where our cardiac monitor is. Thermometer and EMR. This is gonna be pretty important because this is how I'm going to learn about my patient. Looks like today uh, Kate Miller is here to see us. And she's got some heart failure, some hypertension, some asthma. So, you know, all pretty important to know about. And why is she here? Looks like some shortness of breath with some fever and cough for a week. And her O2 set looks like it's not great. Okay, so we'll see. All right. Um, got stethoscope. It looks like she's got Tylenol and albuterol uh, or inhaler of some sort on the counter here. And then we've got uh, some uh, a swab system and more PPE in case I need it. All right. Well, let's go ahead and start talking to our patient. Um, hello, ma'am. I'm Dr. Shri. What brings you in today? Hi, I'm Kate Miller. I started feeling so winded today. I've had this cough for a week, and it's getting worse. Okay. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. Uh, I'm glad you came in. I'm going to go ahead and get some monitoring stuff on you so we can see where you're at. I know when you came in, you had a little bit of a fever. Just want to see how you're doing with that. Get my pulse ox here. Okay. Maybe I'll just recheck your temperature. There we go. Oh, 100.3. Okay, so just about have a fever, not quite. Uh, oxygen. Ma'am, you said you're feeling short of breath? Yes. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and put some oxygen on you, see if that helps a little bit, okay? Okay. Okay. Looks a little bit better. Oh, there we go. Okay. I feel a little better. Oh, good. Okay. So tell me more about what's been going on for you. I haven't had any chest pain. Okay. Um, and you've had the fever and shortness of breath, is that right? Yes. Okay. Any other symptoms of illness? No. Okay. Uh, no nausea, vomiting, or diarrhea, or anything like that? No. Okay, good. All right. Have you had any sick contacts? I picked my son up from the airport last week. He was coming home from studying abroad in Spain. Hmm. But was he ill at all? No, he hasn't been sick. Okay. Well, uh, well, the good news is that he hasn't been sick, but I am a little concerned with your symptoms and the fact that your son came back from Spain because that is a hotspot for coronavirus. So I think, you know, that's why, um, well, given your symptoms and given what's going on, that's why they, they put you on those precautions, the respiratory precautions. That's why I'm wearing all this equipment to, to keep uh, me safe and the other hospital staff safe and, and frankly keep you safe in case I brought it in from, from other patients, which, I, of course, I'm trying to avoid doing by washing my hands and being uh, good about going into patients' room with all this kind of gear. Okay. All right. Well, I think what I should do is let me get a listen to your heart and lungs, and then I might need to put in some orders um, to figure out what's going on with you, okay? Okay. Thanks. All right. Uh, let's see. Let me go ahead and take a listen here. Let me stethoscope. A little tachycardic, but... There. The lungs actually sound pretty clear anteriorly. 
Let's take a look, listen posteriorly here. Let me sneak in here. Ooh. That's pretty crunchy. Pretty wheezy there. Huh, okay. Listen posteriorly here. Hmm. That's not great. Okay. Well, ma'am. I got to tell you, your lungs don't sound great. Um, given your asthma, you do have a bit of wheeze. Why don't you try this albuterol? Okay, let's see if that hopefully helps a little bit. And then let's order you some other stuff here. Get some basic labs here. Definitely want that, that. Given the cardiac history, this could be a cardiac wheeze. Let's do that. Let's do a lactate. Just get a sure get a VBG get blood culture, get a urine for that fever. Okay, then let's do let's do a COVID nineteen, um, maybe an influenza as well. Okay, uh, let's get a chest X ray. Okay, and then bolus is probably not a bad idea. And let's do some IV Tylenol and hold off on antibiotics for now and let's do this stuff here. And let's do that. Okay, so we've confirmed our isolation. That's good. Um, Give me a moment, ma'am. I'm going to review your results. Now, the beauty of Simex is that you don't have to wait an hour for results or more. <laughs> so I'm just going to go ahead and see what our patient has here. Ooh, it looks like she's got a bit of a white count there. But the rest of her numbers actually look pretty good. Okay. A little bit of an elevated creatinine. All right. A little bit of a trope. BNP's... Okay, a little elevated, but... Ooh. High lactate. Okay, that definitely looks like a uh, an infiltrate on the right side there. The left looks okay. And the EKG just looks like sinus tack. Okay. And it looks like I don't have anything else back if you look at the bottom here. Okay. Well, ma'am... You know, it seems like you might have a pneumonia. So I do think that we should give you some antibiotics and bring you into the hospital, actually. All right? Okay. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and do that. Admit to hospital. Put in the medicine consult there. And I definitely need to start some antibiotics on her. Uh, what we'll do is, one last thing we need to do is do this COVID swab. Um, you know, at this point, uh, I can't say that this pneumonia that you've got, which I think you've got based on your x-ray, is completely uh, a normal pneumonia. So what we're going to do is do this quick swab. I'll have you open your mouth here. Great. And then one in the nose, unfortunately. Okay. Get that. And we're going to put that in a biohaz bag. Okay. All right, ma'am. So like I said, we're going to bring you to the hospital. We are going to be on precautions for COVID until we, we get that result back in a day or two. And we'll go from there, okay? Oh, thanks. Okay, you're welcome. All right. So in this case, this case ended up being pneumonia based on the chest x-ray and the elevated lactate. But this case could go a couple different directions based on the instructor or the moderator. Um, if they pick CHF, then the patient would have some different lab results and different chest x-ray. COVID would have some different results. And then um, they also have the possibility of having an outcome of a, just an asthma with a little bit of a URI maybe um, with an overall negative workup, in which case they, uh, they could pretty much go home. Um, so those are the possible outcomes from this case, um, but obviously, uh, you know, real life is going to also have a lot of different outcomes, so that's why we wanted to build it that way. Um, so that's it for our simulation today. Uh, see you guys next time.